Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadows of the Damned. When we last left off, we went down, 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 deeper and down. Um, following our girlfriend, no, no less. Let's keep digging, shall we? In the great beyond. Okay, so I've switched back up to the Series X. Just because, ooh, hello. Just because the loading speeds are just so much better and there's no screen tearing which is great because screen tearing really sucks and this game is stuffed with it oh and you little impy bastard there we go give me your gems I want your gems okay that is one cool thing with the backwards compatibility uh, with the Xbox consoles you know, you don't have to worry about transferring saves or anything like that. As long as, um, say, your Xbox 360 and your Series X is connected to um, Xbox Live, you just put the disc in and <gasps> all your saves are there. Crazy. You just carry on where you left off. Mental, right? Uh, it doesn't matter what console you put it in. Uh, as long as you load your profile. It's uh, it's really cool. Now try using backwards compatibility on the PS5. It's yeah, <laughs> it's 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 nothing like that. You gotta work out what version of the game you got. You gotta find your saves. You gotta jump through seven thousand hoops to transfer your saves. Yeah, it's a rather pathetic effort. Well, is it a pathetic effort? Or is it just that Microsoft, in that one particular regard, went above and beyond? Who knows? Um, so, we've got a strawberry up above. But then, you know, Microsoft's a software company. So, why do I get the feeling this is not going to be smooth? Hello. Come on. Alright. Well, I was expecting maybe something a little different, but... I can handle an imp or four, I guess. Right, let's go with this. And yeah, of course, I forgot. The melee in this game is pointless. You know what? Maybe we'll get the old teeth out. It needs to be reloaded. If we can slowly drag the course crosshair to the enemies, that'd be great. There we go. Kind of, more or less. This thing does burn through a magazine rather fast, which is nice. This is a very, very nice weapon. It's growing on me. Okay. So we've managed to get ourselves a strawberry. And we can go back that way, I guess. We can. Oh, right. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the right way to go. Of course, our hero here is utterly thwarted by a tiny little waist-high wall. Which has thwarted so many heroes in video games over the years. So what's down here, then? More demons. Oh! See, this is what I'm saying, man. I'm gonna go on a limb and say we've probably missed quite a few of these red gems just because you think the game lets you explore and it kind of doesn't right let's go upgrade some stuff um, maybe start putting some damage in the teether maybe um, I'm guessing with the light shot that might increase how big the damage sphere on, on the attack is. So if we like start getting up to like level 3 or 4. Maybe it can hit enemies on the ground. Which is a really terrible melee attack. By the way. Like it is absolutely pathetic. Um, oh no. It's the torch. No there's no. There's no way of upgrading. Just how quick. It, yeah so that will just maintain. It's position. As a useless uh, melee attack. Gotcha. Alright, let's start putting some points in the teether. 
Because I like the teether. It's cool. Don't need to worry too much about capacity or reload speed because both of those things are okay. But hey, we do like getting more bang for our buck. Hello, you little fuckwit. Ah, oh, the sound of children's laughter. Oh, it just cuts through me. Okay. Looks like we have multiple blood gates. Come on. Ooh, okay. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. We remember the... We... Oh, okay. Right, it is red. I was going to say... I was going to call serious levels of bullshit then. Right, now... Let's try and get some... Oh, God. Actually, this isn't a bad little area for a bit of grinding. In fact, this isn't a bad little area for grinding at all. Okay. Let's get some gems. The points mean prizes, people. And we like prizes. Sadly, they didn't really give you a lot of gems, do they? Which is... A bit of a shame. Now we're okay for health as well, so we don't need to worry too much. Ooh. The headshots are a bit funky. It's a little bit difficult. Uh, dude. As is the enemy AI. But hey, whatever. It's not the worst in the world. Well, actually, I don't know. It's, it's actually pretty bad. Oh, get off me. You little sausage. Honestly. What state are you guys? Thinking you can kill me. Now, I don't know if that little back slap we give these guys actually does any damage. I have no idea, to be honest. We could use some hooch. Come on, reload the damn gun. There we go. So, yeah. I'm not really sure if that little backhander does any damage or if it just pushes the enemies back. If it just pushes the enemies back, then eh. Let's just go ham on this thing. Don't mind losing a little bit of health in here. Get out of here. At least these guys drop some decent chunky gems. We like that. Oh boy, we like that. Come on. Might be worth upgrading that light shot thing. At some point. Does seem like it's going to be rather useful. <coughs> In fact, it seems like it's going to be required. Did burn through a little bit of ammo there, but that's fine. And some healing items as well, but, you know, healing items are kind of to a penny, really. So, we're not going to worry too much about those. So this darkness, huh? It's kind of like a really big part of the game, isn't it? They like their time limits. Okay, well... Oh, hello! So we've got to stick our torch in this thing's face. Oh, yes, we stick our torch in this thing's face. But not by pushing the... Uh, not by pushing the uh, torch melee button. It is context sensitive. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but once we stuck the torch in, uh, for a few frames of animation <laughs> the torch actually went limp for a second ah, I can appreciate that kind of humor I just wish this game ran a bit smoother okay so let's get our little friend moving here let's have some more hot sake 
That's better. Right, come on, my little, my little friend. I light the way. Knock, knock. Oh, hello. <laughs> Paula's mine. She belongs to me. I own her, apparently. You know, some people are into that kink, to be fair. Certainly wouldn't put it past this game. Right. They've got a little savey checkpoint down there, but what's this way? Oh. Nothing. Okay. Alright, thank you, my fishy friend. Uh. You remember when I said about quality control? There we go. This game definitely could have used. A few more months in the oven. Absolutely. Right, so we've got some sucker. Hello. My impy friends. Well. Time to go to work, I suppose. Ooh. It really does seem that shooting their heads off is... Oh, God, that's not good. That's really not good. Is more luck than anything else. Right, get some more booze. We like our booze. Come on. Oh shit, yeah. Got some more sake as well. Excellent. Come on. Oh, these things. These things, man. Okay. At least they drop, what was that? Four gems. Not bad. Oh, come on. The input delay on the controller is so bad. There we go. This dude's just chilling. Just having a bit of a good time by himself. And there's a little git behind us, isn't there? Ruining our fun. Of course there is. Come on. Oh, God. Might be worth switching up to another weapon. Because this thing ain't overly brilliant against these guys. This might be more... Oh, God. We definitely need to upgrade that. This thing... These guys might be better off suited with the... This gun. Ah, the more the merrier. Oh, hello. We have something new. Happy to have something new. Yeah, this is more like it. This is doing the damage we want. So, these guys look like they have armor. Interesting. And gems aren't disappearing, which is nice. That was kind of a little bit of a concern of mine. Gems disappearing. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yes. The hitboxes as well. Why? Why did I expect any different? Right. Let's hit you with that. So the good thing with this gun is it can destroy armor, I guess. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. He's gone. Glad we have this one. Okay, not too bad. Ooh. Yeah, I thought something stank. <laughs> um, let's not make the system mad, G. <laughs> nah, let's kill her. <laughs> this is not exactly that threatening. Nice one, G. Hey! To the death. Yay! Death. Well, you know, it could be worse. 
Johnson, you're so negative all the time. And that was bad of me. Ooh. Okay, so... Oh, this... Hot flashes. Ooh. Right. So, the light... Well, that's not actually hitting her, is it? Hot flashes, you say. Oh, what? Like barrels? Okay, that didn't hurt anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Right. Not that I think that's really going to do anything. Yeah, she's not taking any damage from this. Oh, this bloody darkness actually gets quite obnoxious after a while. It's not a required mechanic. It works. I, I don't mind the mechanic, but it's definitely going a little bit overboard with it. Right, okay. So how would one, unless... Oh, right. I'm guessing... Okay, I don't know. Ooh, I'm guessing we have to do something to her in the darkness realm. Yeah, because when she's in this light realm, she appears to be invincible. But she changes color here. Um, okay. Not 100% sure what that did. Okay, we're losing health. Uh, let's switch up to the Teether, something a little bit quicker. So there's some sort of rub we're missing here. And that took about five seconds to actually use that health kit there. Uh, right, call forth your darkness. And then we will... Okay, where does she go? Nope, she's still a mortal. So, I'm kind of out of ideas here. So, there's nothing we can do. Maybe we have to charge up the torch attack and hit her with that. But the trouble is, can't really <laughs> see where she is. Uh, come on. Oh, we went a little bit limp there. All right, well, that's not working, is it? All right, let's get some tequila. Now we're really starting to burn through our healing items. Well, that's fine. Now, where are you? No, that might not. I might have just missed, to be fair. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Where's your weakness? Unless we do have to do that, but we have to hit her in this. Nah, there's no way. No. You can't get close to her. Alright. Uh, so what have we got? We've got pillars here. We don't really have any other abilities. We just have to hit her with this a lot? Maybe we just have to hit her with this a lot. Trouble is, she moves really fast. And when the frame rate is this low, it's really hard to keep track of her. Unless we've just got to escape. Maybe we can't take her on. That also could be a thing. I'm guessing we can't escape, though. No, we can't escape. Okay. 
Luckily, her attack doesn't always hit us. Seems her hit detection is just as bad as ours is. So when she... Right. So when we're in this darkness mode, there has to be something here that we're not seeing. Okay. Yep, she's still invincible. Right, there's something really obvious here that's going on. That we're not seeing. Ha. Huh. Well. We've just got to shoot her with a light shot. In the darkness. Which, you know, we have been doing. Um... I guess the light shot just hasn't been going through. I'm not sure. Right, so now we should be able to shoot her with a light shot, which makes her vulnerable. But... I don't know, Chief. I don't... <laughs> How the fuck do you hit her? Like, seriously, do you wait for her to come to you? Right, there we go, okay. Yeah, uh, definitely could have been easier if uh, this game ran <laughs> at a decent frame rate. Anyway, okay. I mean, to be fair, it did seem pretty obvious what we had to do. It looks like, to be fair, once you know the rub of the bosses, they're not that challenging. Alright, wait for it to come to us. Ow. Bitch, come on. Try that again, you ugly sack of shit. Come on, my health is trickling away, you know. I don't think she cares. My health is trickling away, by the way. <laughs> right. One last dance, eh? Come on. Come at me. I have my big boner ready for you. Does she want it? Yeah, she wants it. She wants the big boner. Oh, yep. So, literally three rounds. Four rounds. I think we just have to kill them all. I think that's the way it works, bud. Now here's a pretty prize. Mm -hmm, I smell an upgrade. Yes, Are please. <laughs> nice. So what does this give us? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Ooh. Oh. Okay. Johnson's boner can now turn into a hot boner. Whilst holding aim and hold the secondary fire button, RB to charge, then release it to deploy your sticky payload. Wait a minute. But that's the light shot. So, shoot the payload for a thrilling explosion. You can create an explosive chain reaction to break glowing cracked objects. Or just to blow up enemies. Alright... So I guess that also acts as a light shot, does it? Or have we now just lost the ability to use the light shot with this weapon? Uh, I guess we'll find out. That doesn't use ammo either, but it kills the frame rate. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, sure, I guess. I'm sure we'll get to play with that. Oh, God, don't walk near the water. Ooh. Anyway, let's keep this party wagon moving forwards. You know, it is interesting, like, when you go back and play, say, Gears of War, um, the original Gears of War, or, and games like that, just how impressive it is that they got those games running so smoothly. Um, 
you know, and the fact that the animation work is so good. Playing something like this really makes you appreciate that. Right. Okay. Okay. Can we not? Oh, that melee move, man. Why is it like... It's almost like, why is it even in the game? It's useless. It's so bad. Okay. Now, what have we got here? I guess... Can we... Right, so I guess we still can use the light shot. We just tap the button. Got ya. Ooh, very nice. We'll certainly be having that. Uh, right. Do you want to... Oh, it's actually now called the Hot Boner as well. Very nice. Yeah, we'll keep bulking this gun up. Right. Oh, man. There's quite a few cracks here, I guess. All right. Oh, wait, do we have to... Okay. Oh, it's going to be a time puzzle, isn't it? Because of course it is. Ugh. Alright, come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, really didn't need to be a time puzzle, but whatever. Oh, the music. The music's so good. Alright, let's keep going. I want to get some more weapon upgrades. They're really fun. Ooh. Haven't we already got an achievement called It's a Bug Hunt? Well, I guess we're out. Back into the fresh air again. We're going to have fireworks again, aren't we? Yes. My dying concubine. Do I see trees? Oh, please tell me we're out of that gosh-awful town. I think we are. Yeah, this game really could benefit from a remake. It really could. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Ah, look at all the little dullies dancing. Yes, dance for my amusement. Excellent. Right, cool. I guess we're fully maxed out on teeth, huh? Something's rather big. Something wicked is stomping around out here. We've got on a checkpoint, I guess. Oh, hi. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess not, huh? Can we put this to good use? No, I guess not. Right, well. Wait a minute, what do you mean I thought we were done with this thing? Did we fight this guy before? I can't actually remember fighting this guy. I know we found like one of these things. Oh, right, yes, 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 I remember. I know we found him dead. Is there something on his back? I don't know, actually. I can't remember fighting this guy. Well, at least he's dropped his tree. I guess after a while, all these demons start looking the same. Come on, baby. Come on. Take you right where it hurts. I think we hit him where it hurts. 
Yeah, I am really struggling with the aiming in this game. As you can tell. And uh, according to Digital Foundry, uh, the 360 version is the one that runs the best. Which is worrying. Right, let's keep getting every... Now and again, we just get a crafty little hit on him. There we go. Come on, you overgrown fucking flashlight. Jesus. See that head of yours? There we go. Strobe warning, I guess. Okay, so we just shoot him. Oh, right. We had to go this way anyway. And we get a nice, fat, juicy reward of gems. Excellent. We like gems. We really like gems. So we've got some teeth. We've got some meat roasting. This guy was having a right little picnic. Good man. That's what we like to see. I mean, he was enjoying his predicament. Ah, oh, fireworks. And you know what that means. Darkness. Lots of running from darkness. Okay. Well, we're going to leave that for the next video, guys. <laughs> yes. So, hang on. In that image, Johnson doesn't have all the same gems that he's got. Because he's got a couple on his jaw in the cutscenes. It's kind of interesting. But according to this, there's still three... Or five left to get. Okay, cool. Ooh, looking forward to seeing these new weapons. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this game. Uh, I think by the time I get to the end of it, I think the darkness mechanic would have well and truly outworn its welcome. Uh, it's an interesting idea. I don't mind it, but it doesn't have to be used like every six seconds. Um... The bosses are kind of interesting so far. They're they're very easy once you know what you're doing with them. Um, but I think the biggest barrier that's stopping me from getting 110% out of this game so far is just how poorly it runs. It's, yeah, it's not good. Uh, which is interesting because the Evil Within had the same problem. Um, which was a Shinji Mikami game. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe optimization and polish isn't that high on the agenda for these guys. Uh, which is a shame. But, you know. Never mind. Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.